I've got three beautiful bratwurst sausages here. And today, I'm gonna be making tequila hot brats. Yes, tequila hot brats are a thing, or at least I'm making them a thing. We're gonna see how they turn out today. I've never done this exact recipe. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Sort of like beer soaked brats, we're gonna be soaking these in a combination of tequila and a hot sauce. We're gonna be using a Frank's Red Hot today. But first we need to get some holes in the casings here of the sausage so that wonderful marinade can get in. We're just gonna poke, I don't know, maybe six holes in each one. Not big slices, just pokes with the tip of the knife. That's it, let's get them in a container and get that tequila hot sauce marinade on them. So there are three components to this marinade. The first two are the most important. We're gonna start with about three quarters of a cup of tequila. Just gonna get it in there. Then we've got half a cup of Frank's red hot sauce. You can use your favorite red hot sauce. I really like this. Finally, we're gonna add apple juice until we get the level of this marinade up a little bit. They don't need to be totally covered in here. And we're just gonna move them around, try and get some of that sauce mixed in. Everybody covered. Now these are gonna go in the refrigerator for about three hours. And every hour I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna turn them. Just so each side gets a good distribution of this tequila hot marinade. Cause that's how you get tequila hot brats. Yeah, just a little bit more apple juice here. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna get a cover on this. It's gonna go in the refrigerator, like I said, for three hours. And then we're gonna grill them up out on the Weber kettle. All right, I'm just about to fire up the Weber kettle here to get these tequila hot brats on. But I wanted to show you, I have a new cooking grate to try out on the kettle. This was sent to me by the people at Mallory Cookware. It is a cast iron grate with flip up wings on it. And let me tell you, this thing is solid. It is 27 pounds total. I burned it in yesterday, gave it about two or three hours at 400 degrees on the kettle, and this thing is ready to rock. If you wanna check out this grate, I'll put a link in the description below so you can go to their website and check it out. This is looking good, and let's see how it does when we cook on it. All right, our grill is heated up. Let's get the lid off and start cooking. It's such a clean grill right now. <laughs> I wish it could stay that way. First thing I wanna do is I wanna give a quick toast to the bun that I'm gonna be using. Very quick toast here. That's good, that's what I'm looking for. There we go, that's it. Now I'm gonna start these tequila hot brats off indirect first. Wanna give them a little bit of time to come up to temperature. So we're gonna get our lid on. Probably go for about 10 to 15 minutes to let these come up to temp before we put them directly over the coals. Now these brats are freshly made from the store. There's no preservatives in them. So we're gonna be cooking these to 165 internal today. That's a safe temperature for ground meat. And once they're done and they're nicely seared, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna make a terrific tequila hot brat dog. All right, we've been going for about 10 minutes. I think it's time to give these a sear. I don't know that I mentioned it, but I think you saw I'm using the Vortex today underneath this Mallory cast iron grate. Let's go ahead and turn these over. Let's see how we're doing. Let's switch places here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move these back indirect now. to do just a quick check of temperature here. You know we're gonna lose juice. That's just a fact of life when you're working with sausages. Let's see if we can just get right here. Yeah, see that's at 120 degrees. So we've got a good 40, 45 degrees to go. If we left it over the coals directly, they'd be burned to a cinder before they ever got to that temperature. But I do want to arrange these just a little more like this. So they're kind of facing the vortex. This one needs a little more, so I'm putting them a little closer. 
I'm gonna put the lid on and we'll check them again in about 10 minutes. All right, we've been going for about 10 minutes. Let's have a look at these brats. They are looking good. They're actually smelling really good. So let's go ahead and get another temperature check here just to be safe. Oh, that's looking good. That's 170. See this one? That's 172. I think we're good. Yep, we are good. We're all 172 to 175. All right, these are going in and we are gonna make an amazing tequila hot brat dog. All right, here is our lonely bottom bun. Let's get the tequila hot brat out here. Let's load you up in there. Now on a normal brat, I would just have some nice spicy brown mustard, but I decided to kick that up a little bit today. So we're putting some Frank's Red Hot Mustard on here. This is two tablespoons of a spicy brown mustard and one tablespoon of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And we are just gonna drizzle this all over. And then on my brats, I like sauerkraut. Let's put some sauerkraut on here. That is looking really good to me. All I can say now is it's time to taste. This is one of those dishes I make that I kind of feel like I might need a bib, but I'm just gonna go for it. Here we go. That is really good. There's a nice spice, not only from the Frank's Red Hot, but from the tequila that you get inside the meat, in the sausage. It's a really different flavor from if you've done beer brats. It's a little bit more of a bite to it. I really like this. I've gotta say, the cook on this, on the outside, the skin, the char, everything, came out really, really good. I'm very impressed with that Mallory cooking great. So again, Mallory, thank you for sending that to me. I'm definitely gonna be using that on burgers and steaks. But oh man, this is good. Mm. That red hot mustard goes really nice on this. Nice combination with that little bit of a spice inside the meat. Sauerkraut's always good on any sort of dog. You use hot dog or bratwurst or Italian sausage. It just goes great. So if you've done beer broths before, give something like this a try. Change it up a bit. Another sort of alcohol in there. I gotta say, tequila goes really well with it. I will definitely be making these tequila hot broths again. Oh yeah.